gosh. That is really loud. Yeah, it's just moved. My daughter's growing really fast and she's starting to get to the point where she wants to start grabbing onto things and interacting with the world around her. So I figured it would be a good time to build her a baby gym. I'm sure you've seen them. They're like those little A-frames or arches that have little hanging toys and they can kind of grasp onto them. So in this video, I'm gonna make two baby gyms. The first one, I'm going to use cheap plywood and I'm gonna cut out using just regular power tools. And then the second one, I'm gonna use a nicer hardwood material like maple and I'm gonna cut it out on the Inventables X-Carve. I created a design in Fusion 360 and I printed out the templates here on paper and I'm gonna use some spray adhesive to glue these to the plywood. When I cut these pieces out on the bandsaw, I left the edge just proud of my line so I could come back with the belt sander and clean it up. To duplicate the front and back leg of the baby gym, I cut out a second copy and trimmed it up using the flesh trim bit on my router. You just saw me drill out these holes on the drill press. I don't know if you noticed, but I tried really hard to not have any blowout on the back by using a piece of wood underneath, but I was unsuccessful and you can see that there's a lot of tear out here. So I think I'm gonna try this piece again and hopefully this time it'll work. This time around, I drilled all the way through the piece using a small drill bit. Then I swapped it out for a Forstner bit, and I drilled halfway through from the backside, then flipped the piece over and drilled all the way through from the top. This left a nice clean hole with no tear out. As I said at the beginning, I'm gonna be building two of these baby gyms. The second one I'm gonna build is gonna be using the Inventables X-Carve, and I wanna use some nicer hardwood for this, so I picked up some soft maple. Before I throw it on the X-Carve, I need to cut it to length, so I'm gonna do that here at the miter saw. I actually built this miter saw station in my last video, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. If you wanna learn more about the Inventables X-Carve, there'll be a link in the description where you can check it out. If you do end up purchasing anything from them, I'd really appreciate if you use my link in the description because that helps support Bite Size. While the X-Carve is cutting out these pieces, I'd like to take a quick moment to talk about Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way for you to show your support for content creators like me by directly donating money to support my efforts. In return, you get exclusive rewards like extra behind the scenes content, free merchandise, and monthly video calls to chat about making things. Patreon support means a lot to me because it's a way for me to connect directly with you. When you support me on Patreon, you're helping make these projects and videos happen. I will have a link in the description as well as at the end of the video where you can check out my Patreon page and the different reward tiers for supporters. If Patreon isn't your thing, I'm also getting YouTube memberships up and running. My plan is to have the same reward tiers on both platforms. Thanks for letting me take the time to talk about Patreon, now it's back to the build. I spent quite a bit of time sanding these parts down and I even got to use my fancy new oscillating spindle sander. I finished cutting out all these pieces on the X-Carve and I finished sanding them using the palm sander. My hands are still vibrating, but I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is gluing up. So I've got these pieces set up and I'm thinking about my glue up strategy. I think I've settled on keeping these pieces flat against the table and then gluing this into place standing up. There's one obvious problem with this. Since these are rounded shapes, I don't really have any flat surfaces to apply my clamps, but I think I've got a workaround. So I've got the stock that I cut these rounded pieces out of. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually cut these out and give me a, like a form to put these pieces into and that'll give me the flat edges I need to put clamps on. So I've got the stock pieces cut out and they'll act as my form, but I realize I'm probably gonna have to cut kind of a perpendicular notch into each of these so that the clamp can grab on.
I repeated the same process to glue up the plywood version of the baby gym. However, this time I used some iron-on edge banding to hide the ugly edges of the plywood. I've finished building both baby gyms and I've sanded them to 120 grit. Now I'm ready to apply some finish. I'm not going to do anything fancy, just do some polyurethane. This is the first project I've done using a nicer hardwood like maple. Applying a finish like this on a hardwood really makes a big difference in its appearance. You can see here the wood started to cry as it appreciated its own beauty. The last step is to attach these hanging wooden toys that we bought on Etsy. My wife would like to replace these in the future with some hand knitted animals. That should be pretty easy because these are just attached using a simple knot. At this point, the baby gym was ready to go through some thorough quality assurance testing. Luckily for me, the inspector gave me high marks. I'll put a link in the description where you can find more information and the design files you need to build your own baby gym. I would also like your feedback on an idea that I've been considering for a while. I want to know if you'd be interested in something I'm calling bite-sized kits. For some of the project videos I release, I would like to sell kits on my website with all the parts you need to make your own. If I get enough interest, I will make a limited run of the parts you will need to build this baby gym for yourself. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. If this is the first bite-sized video you've seen, you may not know that I make a lot of other cool project videos like this. I'll put some links here for you to watch. If you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to Bite Size, but only if you feel like I've earned your subscription. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully this project inspires you to make something that you're excited about. I'm Zach, and I look forward to seeing you next time.